Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soraya, and today I wanna to talk about whether loving yourself is really all you need to come into harmonious union. Because what I hear a lot of people saying, especially when they first start finding out about Twin Flames, they are you know, starting to Google search, they're starting to learn more about it, they hear this phrase, self-love a lot. And it's similar to what a lot of people talk about uh, in self-help communities and with psychology, we know that loving ourselves is a good thing to do. It's kind of like a buzz phrase to love yourself. And so a lot of times people can hear that like, oh yeah, love yourself to come into your harmonious twin flame union. But then they're doing that, they're loving themselves in the way that they know how, but they're not getting that result. So I wanna really dive into what is actually meant when we talk about loving yourself. It's the same thing, I mean, it is loving yourself, but I wanna go deeper into what that means specifically on the twin flame journey so that you can start getting the results that you want because to just, you know, generally, yeah, I love myself, sure. You know, I want good things for myself. Yeah, I have a self-care routine or yeah, like I have some good boundaries or I take care of this or that. Like those things are wonderful, but you can do all those things and still not be getting the result with your twin flame. So that's what I wanna dive into today. So what is needed specifically in terms of loving yourself? In order to have a healthy relationship with your twin flame, you must have a healthy relationship with yourself. And I use that word relationship very deliberately. Uh, one of the things that uh, in Twin Flame Ascension School, um, Jeff and Shalia say, it, like in the intro to a class, they say, welcome to Twin Flame Ascension School where you learn how to have a relationship. And that really speaks to what the Twin Flame journey is actually about. It's about learning how to have a healthy relationship. And boundaries are a part of that. And, you know, knowing yourself and learning how to communicate and, you know, making sure that you're taking good care of yourself, that you're not leaving yourself in that very overt way for a relationship, things like that. That's true. That's all a part of loving yourself in the context of relationships. But what Twin Flame Ascension School is actually teaching everyone about is how to have a relationship that's continuously growing, like how to live that out, how to walk that out. When this comes up, how to love there, how to have a healthy relationship in all these different areas so that you can have the type of relationship with yourself that is completely unshakable at the core and where love is reigning supreme in that relationship. A lot of times people look at longevity of relationship to determine if it's a good relationship. Like we may think like, okay, well, my grandparents have been married for you know, 50, 60 years or, or whatever it may be, right? And we might be thinking like, oh, that's an indication of a really good relationship. Like I wanna emulate that. Um, but you wanna really dig deeper and look at what's keeping that relationship together. And when it comes to a twin flame union, it's very important that we're dealing only in terms of a healthy relationship. It is possible to try to have an unhealthy relationship with your twin flame it's just extremely painful. It's abusive to yourself. It feels really, really bad. Um, so we don't teach that with Twin Flames Universe as an Ascension coach. That's never something that we encourage people to you know, get involved with. What we really focus on is how to have a healthy relationship, a good relationship, one that's growing and has the foundation that it needs that you can have the type of relationship that you wanna have with your Twin Flame. Just being with the right person isn't enough. We gotta have the right relationship with the right person. And so when we're talking about self-love in the context of relationship, we're talking about learning how to relate in such a way that you honor yourself, the divine in you, and the divine in the other. And it's just such a rare thing, you know? It's, it's something that, it's kind of amazing to me, you know, the longer I've been a student of Twin Flame Ascension School, the longer I've been doing this work, meeting with my coach, you know, healing my upsets, you know, healing my Twin Flame union, um, the more amazed I've been at, at how clueless I actually was when it came to relationships, because I've always been really interested in psychology. I have a background in psychology. I studied it in college, um, did a little bit of master's and a little master's program. Um, and I kind of thought that that was the direction I was going to go in was to be a counselor or a therapist. And I kind of changed, changed direction into more like life coaching and then met my twin flame and here we are. Um, 
but you know, coming from that background, I was like, yeah, like relationships are pretty like standard and pretty straightforward, you know? They take work and effort and communication and you know, you have the boundaries and you talk it out and you make sure that you're taking care of yourself, that you're listening to yourself, things like that. Like, sure, like that's that's a relationship and Twin Flame Ascension School and the Twin Flame journey itself has taken me so deep into what a healthy relationship actually is at the core. The foundational awareness, letting go of any area where I've been self-sabotaging, any area where I was unconsciously running patterns, any generational stuff that I was running that like maybe I learned from my parents or my parents' parents, you know, really looking at society's conditioning. Also really letting go of all the soulmate belief systems around relationships that I've been taught my whole life because nobody I knew growing up was in a twin flame union, nevertheless a healthy, um, or let alone a, a healthy twin flame union that I would want to emulate. Um, but now I've got all kinds of people like that around me with this work. And so um, I'm learning all the time. It's, it's really wonderful. And yeah, it's just, it's a, it's something that's so deep. It's so profound that really what all of this work, all this teaching, all this support, and even the coaching that I offer is really about is helping you go on that journey of self-exploration and healing so you can lay that foundation so that you can have that deeper awareness and increasingly so um, you're always going to be going deeper the beautiful thing is with a truly loving relationship and especially with a twin flame union that is you know a relationship with someone that you're one with at the core that the growth is unending and so laying that foundation getting those fundamentals right and really building the mastery to be able to have a very healthy relationship with your twin flame and your twin flame union. It's so worth the time and energy. And yeah, you're, you're just gonna continuously be learning a, a forever student, you know, cause it's just, it's so rich. And the love is always expanding and going deeper. So you learn these foundational things and it's like you're learning it, the foundational stuff applied in a very particular area with something that's coming up in your twin flame union and your twin flame is always going to be taking you deeper showing you how to love here how to sh how to love now in this space under these circumstances in this trigger in this upset in this in this dream in this in this vision or in life purpose and so your twin flame is like kind of like showing you things like if you think like on aladdin <laughs> like the magic carpet right like a whole new world <laughs> that's your twin flame that is so the vibe um, yeah, my twin flame told me, I remember many years ago when I first met him, he said that that was our story, the, the Aladdin story. And so that always stood out to me, this whole new world energy. And it's so true. Like you really are opening your heart and your mind to a level of love and loving that most people hadn't even heard of before. I was just hanging out with a group of people, uh, like a week ago talking about relationship stuff. And I was just like, wow, like I... The stuff that I'm being taught in Twin Flame Ascension School is so transcendental <laughs> transcendental to what a lot of people are taught. And I was just like, wow, like it just it, it, it brought to my awareness how much I've learned and how much it's helped me and given me perspective, not just with my Twin Flame, but in all relationships. So yeah, that's really when we're talking about loving yourself. We're not just talking about like, okay, a self-care routine, you know, spa night, you know, taking care of your finances, making sure that, you know, you've got everything laid out for yourself and making sure that you go for a walk every morning. Like that's not what we're talking about when we're talking about loving yourself. We're not even talking about having a general appreciation and generally feeling good about who you are or like respecting yourself. We're not even just talking about that. That's part of it, but that's not the only thing we're talking about. We're talking about how do you have a relationship with yourself that is so completely solid that you never leave yourself or compromise or sacrifice or deviate in any way from your truest heart's desire ever. And that is the purpose of Twin Flame Ascension School and Ascension Coaching, which is what I offer. That's what we're working toward. Like, that's why we're doing this. So I want to point this out because like I said, you know, I hear a lot, like people are like, well, I love myself a lot. I just don't understand. I love myself. Why is it working? I see this a lot with people um, who actually come in for their first session with me where they're like, well, I've done this and I've done this. And they're, and they're telling me all these things they've tried and they haven't been able to get results yet. And it's because they're, they're, they may not be really understanding 
um, what it is that we're actually offering here <laughs> and, and why it's so important. And so I wanted to take a moment and kind of, you know, explain a little bit further because to say love yourself, um, it's a very broad thing. And in order to come into harmonious twin flame union, we're gonna go really specific and get really deep with that. And so it's like next level <laughs> loving yourself. I, based on the way that most people consider like loving yourself, I felt that way about myself before I met my twin flame. I thought, oh yeah, I love myself. I felt good about who I was. I, I really loved what I loved. Like I was very clear on what I desired and what I didn't and what my preferences were. I was very interested in my mind and, and I, I felt really good in my relationship with God. I loved talking to God. I had really open communication there. And um, I was always learning and growing and life was really juicy and fun and interesting in that way. And um, it, it felt good. I had what I thought were really healthy and good relationships in my life. and. I really wish, I really believe that I, I really loved myself very deeply from what I understood it to be back then. Um, but yeah, this work's gonna take you a lot deeper and it's it's really, really beautiful and really profound. I, I love that, you know, there's so much mastery that Jeff and Shalia have that they bring to Twin Flame Ascension School that it really challenges you to go deeper into loving yourself in areas and in ways that you've never even imagined before. And you and you also see the results of it every step of the way. Like you're like, wow, this is so worth it because you're getting results. Um, and that's another big part of it. You wanna do what is necessary to get the results that you want. If you want harmonious twin flame union, you want to have the awareness of what it takes to come into harmonious union and the support that it takes to come into harmonious union. You wanna like decide that you want it and go after it just like with anything in life. And so defining these things is a huge part of that. So I hope that this video was helpful in that endeavor. I hope you're feeling more clear about what this is all about, what we mean when we say love yourself. It's not a platitude, it's not some idea. It's not just generally feeling good about yourself. It's not even just doing nice things for yourself. It's not even just having boundaries. All those things are part of it, but it's about developing a relationship with yourself that you never depart from, where you're completely faithful and loyal to who you are at your core. And mind you, you may not know yourself at your core yet. Most likely, if you're like most people, you don't yet, not fully. And so this teaching, this work is going to take you to that very deep place, that deep awareness. And it's going to teach you how to love yourself there and develop the right kind of relationship so that you can start seeing that change on the outside with your twin flame. Because we about results around here. We're not wasting time. <laughs> but yeah, it's a journey. It's, it's just so worth it. And understanding what it's about is is a huge part of taking that step and choosing that for yourself so yeah that's what it takes to come into harmony she and that's what that's what we're doing that's what i'm offering here so um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful in any way um subscribe if you haven't already share this video with friends family anybody that you feel might be interested or interested in meeting their twin flame or wanting to just grow in self-love and heal their relationship with themselves on a core level um, all of that information is down beneath this video and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.